Hey guys, uh, got another video. I'm not sure what I'm gonna call these yet, but as you can see, a couple of new updates. I have this texture pack. I don't know about it. I like the way. I don't, it's just like normal, but 32 by 32. It looks nice, so I'm gonna just try it out for a couple of videos maybe. And. I'm on a new map, no snowy biomes that really bothered me, so my water kept freezing for this especially, so well. So today for this video, I'm going to be showing you my automatic wheat farm, not wheat, uh, sugarcane farm, and then I'll show you how to build it. So since I can upload more than 15 minute videos now, I'll be just making them all in one video. So, I don't have to make you guys ask. Alright, so, as I said, automatic sugar cane farm. You press a button. And, dummy, forgot to turn drops back on. Alright. And, now. When you can see all your wheat is done, press the button. Pistons uh, force the wheat to be harvested and drop down into water, all into one convenient place. Alright, so I'll show you how to build this. You're back. Alright, we're back. Uh, I'm on my tutorial map, which is going to be uh, where I make all my tutorial videos, or tutorial part of the videos, if that makes any sense at all. Okay, but for this automatic sugarcane farmer, you're going to need stone, dirt, redstone, redstone torch, sugar cane, water, piston, and a button. Alright, so first of all, you put your water in. Just make sure you drag it out as long as the water will go. And then you make a little pit. Okay, so I lied. This needs to be dirt. Because that's where our sugar cane are going to be going. As you can see. Okay, as soon as my mouse cuts back in, okay. I'll show you how to wire the pistons up. Try not to use my fly mod, just in case you don't have it in your own world, so. You place the pistons right where the wheat is going to grow. You can make it only two blocks tall by making a cut off right there and only grow up two. But I just think that looks bad and wastes efficiency, so I don't do that. Alright. You can need to build the wall up around it so when you push the sugar cane off, it won't fall onto the wall or off into the grass something like that. Okay, so once you got your pistons stacked where uh, your sugar cane is going to be growing, climb on the back and put stone like so. Right across the back of uh, the bottom part of the pistons. And then you want to create another row. Oh. forgot to turn infinite items on. Alrighty. Now just uh, put together a quick little redstone there. And start stacking torches. Okay. 
and then you'll see that this one is turned off because the redstone torch that is on down there it's powering this block which turns this off okay so if you want to power two pistons right on top of each other you can use repeaters which I've forgotten to power the block under it which supplies power to the block over you don't really need to worry about that just know that uh, this will this one a repeater will supply power to both of these if there's a block under it well of course I back up and then you can just put redstone across this Okay, now, so when you wait for your wheat to grow, and you power it, it'll push off the wheat. See, like I told you, did follow my own advice, you need to build the wall up. Let's finish this up. make a little thing to hide part of it mm, just in case or something okay so you can also uh, stack these like if you wanted another row right on top of here You can place your dirt. But you're going to need a water source. Oh, we can actually expand this one more out. down your sugar and cover the top of the water up so you can put the pistons on top. Okay. So while you're at it, Put another torch right on top of here. And you can start adding your pistons. After you build the wall up a little higher. To support the greater height. It's basically wash, rinse, repeat. Placing stone two blocks wide across the bottom layer of pistons. Applying the red, uh, redstone repeaters. Put a torch right above this one which it is powered because the one below is not powered because it is powered <laughs> and there you go you get your second setup all done Let's see they all went off really quickly okay so now if we wait for our plants to grow again we activate this we get showered in sugar cane and again you need to make the wall a bit higher 
And this can be stacked um, almost infinitely up to this guy, so you can have yourself a huge weed farm. Plus video response of your huge weed farm. See you guys next time. Next video. Leave suggestions, and I'll make them. Alright, see ya.